Hi, I'm Chabelli, a board certified anesthesiologist assistant. Welcome back to our series on the pros, cons, and unique aspects of the anesthesiologist assistant profession. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more engaging CA content. In today's video, we're diving into a highly requested topic, the safety of anesthesia and the immense responsibility that comes with it. Let's explore the critical aspects of our role. As anesthesiologist assistants, our decisions hold immense weight with the potential to profoundly impact a patient's life. This responsibility can lead to burnout. I do my best to decompress when I have a string of rough cases or rough days through exercise and by leaning on my support system. My support system includes my partner, my family, and my coworkers and former classmates who are experiencing the same challenges. I've heard of stories of providers and students administering the wrong medication, which can have severe consequences, even leading to harm or loss of life. As scary as these scenarios sound, there are safety measures in place to prevent these scenarios from deteriorating further. There are universal systems that are in place. For example, drug classes are differentiated through different colored labels. Sometimes there are moments when providers have to act quickly and having a universal color system adds a dimension of safety. Managing blood pressures and vital signs are major daily responsibilities as well. But we have alarms and monitors and machines to assist us and alert us if vital signs deviate from normal limits, such as the patient not breathing or abnormal blood pressures and oxygen levels. Another general challenge of the job can be managing difficult airways of patients. We have people with many different airway anatomies. For example, someone may have a limited range of motion of their neck or a large thyroid mass, which can make the airway difficult to place a breathing tube in. It's important to note that patients are assessed before intubation and special equipment can be prepared such as video assisted intubation devices. This has the added effect of improved safety. It's important to understand that while errors can occur in the grand scheme of things, anesthesia is relatively low risk. The risk of anesthesia related deaths is one in a million, making it significantly safer than everyday activities like driving. To put into perspective, from 1999 to 2005, there were 2,200 anesthesia related deaths in the United States, while car accidents resulted in approximately 40,000 annual fatalities, totaling around 240,000 deaths during the same period. That's around 100 times as many deaths from car driving. What makes anesthesia as safe as it is today is all of the safety systems that are in place and medical advancements like breakthroughs in medications. For example, Sugamidex is a relatively new and faster medication than its predecessor. Another aspect that makes the job safer is being part of a team. Our role as CAs involve working within the anesthesia care team model, where we collaborate closely with physician anesthesiologists. This team-based approach enhances patient safety reducing the risk of complications and death. Studies support the effectiveness of this model with one study of over 194,000 surgeries demonstrating reduced risks under physician-led care and another review of 1 million anesthetics indicating that the anesthesia care team model has the lowest mortality rates. As a CA, I'm grateful to be part of a team led by physicians. I have the ability to collaborate and consult with physician anesthesiologists when needed for critical cases. We implement safety systems daily to prevent errors and encourage our students to prioritize correctness over speed in order to avoid the development of bad habits. Every day, patients trust their lives to anesthesia providers and it's our continuous duty as CAs to uphold the highest standards of care. That's all for this video. Thank you for joining me in this vital discussion. If you found this video informative, please share your thoughts in the comments, subscribe for more videos like this, and stay tuned for the next video as I continue to explore this profession further.